Some months may not seem particularly exciting for stargazing when you first glance, and then you dig into the astronomical events to realize how much is actually going on. June 2024 is one of those months. The major astronomical events in the June night sky are really just a series of planet-gazing opportunities. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Viewing the planets in our solar system is equally impressive, especially if you have a small telescope or good astronomical binoculars. June 1st, Close Approach of the Moon and Neptune The Moon and Neptune will make a close approach, passing within a mere 1.1 arc minutes of each other. From some parts of the world, the Moon will pass in front of Neptune, creating a lunar occultation. The Moon will be 24 days old. The Moon will be at Mag, 11.5, and Neptune will be at Mag, 7.9. Both objects will lie in the constellation Pisces. They will be close enough to fit within the field of view of a telescope, but will also be visible through a pair of binoculars. June 3rd, Grand Alignment of Visible Planets. Stargazers can get a chance to witness a spectacular parade of planets next month. During the rare celestial event, all six planets will be visible before sunrise on June 3rd where people can enjoy the sight of Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in a single line. What is a planetary alignment? Planetary alignment refers to the rare positioning of planets in the solar system in which it appears that all of them are in a straight line. Interestingly, the rare celestial event is more of an illusion than a perspective. How to spot a planet parade? Before the rare event, it is advised to find a place to easily watch the morning sky and check for the exact date and time of the planet's alignment. June 7th, peak of the daytime Ariatid meteor shower. I haven't historically included the daytime Ariatid meteor shower in my monthly roundups as it's pretty tricky to see, but this year the prospects are pretty good. So if you're a very early riser, this one might be for you. On the morning of June 7th, you can see the peak of the shower, which runs from approximately May 29th to June 17th. At this point, you may see as many as 60 meteors per hour, which is a pretty good rate, and makes it among the more active showers in the calendar. However, as the name suggests, this meteor shower occurs primarily during the day. If you want to try and spot any area tids, Get up a few hours before dawn and look east for the constellation Aries. Best of all, the moon hits its new phase on June 6th, so it will pose no interference the next morning if you're up early looking for shooting stars. June 14th, Mercury at superior solar conjunction. Mercury will pass very close to the sun in the sky as its orbit carries it around the far side of the solar system from the Earth. This occurs once in every synodic cycle of the planet, 116 days, and marks the end of Mercury's apparition in the morning sky and its transition to become an evening object over the next few weeks. At closest approach, Mercury will appear at a separation of only 0 degree 56 ags from the Sun, making it totally unobservable for several weeks while it is lost in the Sun's glare. June 21st, June Solstice. You already know what it is. June 21st marks the longest day of the year above the equator in the Northern Hemisphere, also called the Summer Solstice. Conversely, it's the shortest day of the year in the Southern Hemisphere or the Winter Solstice. The Solstice is an important astronomical day as it marks the shift in seasons and another step in our celestial dance around the Sun. For millennia, Cultures have celebrated the June solstice in a number of ways. You can learn about popular summer solstice celebrations if you're curious to learn more, or attend one of these celebrations yourself someday. June 22nd, Full Moon. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. 
the strawberry moon. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the strawberry moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. Over the nights following 22nd June, the moon will rise around an hour later each day, becoming prominent later in the night. Within a few days, it will only be visible in the pre-dawn and early morning sky. By the time it reaches last quarter, a week after full moon, it will rise in the middle of the night and set at around noon. June 27th, peak of the June Booted's meteor shower. Most meteor hunters skip the June Booted's each year because their typical zenith hourly rate, ZHR, is 1-2 per hour on an average year. But don't let that discourage you if you're out on the night of peak activity on June 27th. Some years this unpredictable meteor shower has a burst of up to 100 meteors per hour. Nobody's certain if a burst might happen in 2024 or not. The last burst year was in 1998. June Buddhids are also known for being extremely long meteors, streaking slowly across a large portion of the sky due to the angle at which these meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere. So even if you only see one or two this year, they'll likely be an impressive sight. Close Approaches and Lunar Occultations in June Like 2023, 2024 is a big year for lunar occultations. That is, times when the moon passes in front of other objects in the night sky, from our earthly perspective, of course. Of course, the moon is always passing in front of stuff, but certain lunar occultations are notable, particularly when it passes in front of another planet in the solar system. In June, there are two lunar occultations you can try to see. Like eclipses, you need to be on a particular part of the globe to see them, so I've noted the date the specific occultation and where you need to be to see it. June 27th, Lunar Occultation of Saturn, visible in Oceania and the South Pacific. June 28th, Lunar Occultation of Neptune, visible in Northern South America and Central America. If you're not in the geographic area mentioned for each one, that doesn't mean there's nothing to see. On those nights when the moon will pass in front of Saturn or Neptune from a certain perspective, it will have a close approach and pass very visually close for the rest of us viewing. Mars also has a close approach this month, but no lunar occultation in June. Do you have questions about these astronomical events in the May night sky? Let me know in the comments below. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.